What's up, my peoples? How you doing? I hope everyone's peachy. Something rather extraordinary came into my energy. So I think it was like last February. All of a sudden, Elijah Cummings came into my mind. And they were talking about doing the uh, Voting Rights Act. And that was, or maybe it was January. And so I felt this energy. I'm like, oh, this is nice. I'm like, are you wanting to channel? You know, bring some message in. And I felt it was appropriate, right? So then I got a little busy. And then my daughter was getting married. And I was going on vacation. And that energy kind of slipped away. Yesterday, they put up his photo in one of the congressional buildings. Elijah's soul came back again. And I'm going to channel his soul. Uh, so, so heartwarming. He was such a beautiful human. Worked with both sides, had friends, caring. His words were almost prophetic. In his speech, and when Michael Cohen was testifying, just beautiful. And taken too soon. But the guy's a memory people won't forget. Because he had two daughters and a son from other relationships. I think one was his first wife. And then he married uh, another woman who was in Congress and has other biz businesses, but what do we have to say? The soul of Elijah Cummings. People. We should not look at people as brown, black, yellow, orange, Asian, African. We are all human beings generally trying to do the right thing. You all have a purpose on this life, on this planet, to care about every single soul you interact with, and souls as general. Before we may get kicked down, we may be persecuted. You may have interactions with police. People may do horrible things like beat you in the street. But this is not how we are supposed to act towards each other. It is not the concept that compassionate people 
are supposed to act like. What we've seen as a whole in the country of the USA and worldwide is very disturbing. There are energy beings out there in our universe trying desperately to help these people understand and realize That love for another is a direct purpose and directly helps all of humanity. One person can only do so much. But you can spread your joy and affect others on a daily basis. Compassionate talk in getting over those things that you have been hurt by and taking those things as lessons and not as persecutions as a person, you can grow. For those who do bad things, does not know. They may have not been raised in a loving environment. They may have had people in their lives that hurt them. And these feelings of anger and weakness and sadness can last for years. For you don't know what another soul has been going through. Take a step back and grab their heart and hold it to yours. And for there, you may see what they are actually going through. Not every soul is old enough to understand and have that rational feelings of compassion. greed and power sneak in at times showing a person to be weak and to go beyond their morals to lie for their own betterment rather than standing up for what they truly believe in that is the weakness of a soul soul will be judged for that weakness but as you learn throughout your whole life you can improve you can drain gain greater acceptance acceptance into the universe of that love and that consciousness. In essence, it'll give you brownie points. We can all change. We can all thrive. For the old man that walks the street worried about having a place to eat or sleep has gone through so much pain, so much sadness, injury, may not even walk right, 
but that person is a human being trying to exist. For he does not take his own life. For he wants to learn and grow and hope that his last days can be fruitful. That soul is just looking for a little compassion may not know where to turn. For people can change. People can grow. For our angelic beings, they're constantly sending vibrations and thoughts to try to help these people understand that we can grow. It doesn't have to be that bad. In many ways, the world has succumbed to misinformation. misinformation that bleeds in the minds of many for they don't know, they don't comprehend they're not evolved enough but just remember they are not open enough as to these who these fine souls that are going to be watching this video. I believed in people. I cared for people. That they would do the right thing. Many have disappointed. But it doesn't mean they cannot change. So it's a continual effort. Do not leave souls in your family, in your atmosphere of soul resonance to the wayside. When opportunity exists, make your statement known. Just tell them, I don't agree, but I do love you. And leave it to that. Let the kindness shine that can help another. There are so many things in the congressional interests coming up that will help a lot of people. We have a collective of souls that I am joined with. Leaders. Passionate people. collective souls of beauty from the past we try to help get messages to those of influential leadership standing to do the right thing to get the right bills passed Get the right ones passed. Rest assured that these these bills 
will be passed. That shall not give you a time frame. But they will be passed. For the right people will be in place. The right legislation will be in order. For we have a greater purpose here to change the future for many. For no man shall be left behind. We can do better. We will do better. I carry a special purpose in my heart for my wife and children. The message of legacy lives on and I shall live on through my children and through my family and the people that I've touched and that's all you should ask for in a lifetime that you will be respected and loved when your time comes to go back home Time. Not really what I expected. There's a lot of love and compassion in that man, and that's all. I was expecting, you know, maybe some stuff about bills and Congress a little bit more, maybe timing. But when a soul passes on, there's nothing about revenge. Well, at least when you're accepted into the love light. You know, there's others that reject that love and do have anger in their soul yet, but not this man. Before I started this, there was this, I'm thinking about his energy, it's almost like I started seeing a council of light beings, you know, like passionate ones. Um, there's another guy that passed, um, his name escapes me, but he feels like very similar energy. I think he was from Alabama. Everyone will know, I'm sure. Even though they're just people, but the, these souls have a purpose, you know, especially in leadership, and you find these people that are compassionate and legit and actually care, and you, hold, you should hold them dear. It takes a lot for a person to stand up for what's right and true and have compassion for the system and what people go through, such as uh, Senator White House and um, Jamie, Jamie Raskin. Just others you can respect in, in that realm, you know, speaking truth to power that really care. Joe Biden, they really want to try to do the right thing for everyone. It feels like um, it's a difficult thing when we have people in our own lives that are negative or believe things that aren't true and 
you just want to like, oh my god. And it's even in our own political system. We want justice. We want fairness. And you see nutso reports of people, what they say. Don't take it into your soul. You know, and like, oh my god, is this guy going to be arrested for this or prosecuted for this? You know, just to kind of like do a face palm. It's like, oh my god, these people. And send that love back. You see the truth. Let's just say Lindsey Graham in his little speech about new bill when the Republicans take over. Blah. The man's definitely went wrong, down the wrong path. You know, you can take it in. Oh my God, dude. But it's like, send it back. Justice. Temperance. The Empress. Send Lindsey Graham love to do the right thing. Stop being a weak human. And we can do that with everyone in our lives. And if it takes not bringing something up just to be with family at times, do it. And if something comes up, if you got a brother or a mother that's totally off, say I won't go there I disagree but I send you love I know I say it sometimes too human these evil evil people that lie constantly it really gets on my nerves too and I'm sure it gets on your nerves Remember to stay in love. No conspiracy. Yeah. We read that conspiracy, but it's kind of fun <laughs> to see what we get. But you know what I mean. Just stay in patience. Stay grounded. Don't let things affect you. Um, it's, it's hard at times when you see children pass or some, some beautiful soul gets infected because some older person they trusted impregnated them at a young age and something happens there's horror stories all the time we can't we can't stop these things we can't control other souls we can only control us and how we react and how we feel. And that's how we move forward. Even in Ukraine. Don't worse wish the West the worst on some of these people. It'll all balance out eventually. Send love to Ukraine. Send love to uh, the Russian administration to end this madness. Those kind of things. Darkness, darkness breeds. Sadness breeds. When you stay in it too long, it, it festers. But when you send love and you have higher conscious thoughts, you spread light. You spread goodness and it manifests. And it's harder to stay that way because the dark is harder to break through. Right? You need a flashlight to get through the dark. And that's just an opening. But it just feels like that's, you know, what Elijah's soul was trying to say. People may disappoint you. Bad things may happen. But we don't know where they've been. We don't know where their soul has been.
use their intuition. What is right? What is wrong? Stay in love. Cool. Love. Blessings.